Good evening, everyone. We are live. Good Say evening. Hi, guys. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Say hi to the audience that is waiting for us for Walter, who is frozen again. <laughs> he has been having some issues uh, with his camera and his setup in general. So we are going to just have occasional intervention from him tonight. Lovely if we are lucky. Internet. I, I have seen him just moving. I think he's muted. He's muted, yes, because but he's moving now, so I think he is. Oh, he's adding a. Oh, oh sexy right, camera. Double. <laughs> wow. He saw in a second camera there. Okay, now we have him on board. This should be better. <laughs> At We're least I hope. Feature. hope so. Yeah, the, the, uh, to Frank who's asking uh, what race is this, that's Elite, I believe. Yes, Alex Malkin is leading. He started. Did he so start it's the... Am I still not in front? No, slow as ever. <laughs> so today's the big championship showdown between George and uh, and Joey and, Chu. And, and Kai, and Dr. Kai. Now we can officially call him Doctor. I, I'm I'm going I'm have a, a punishment planned for Kai in case he doesn't win the championship, you know. What's that? And that is. Oh well, you you are going to find out after the the race ends, <coughs> the reset is done. Well, if or not, if he wins. And if if he wins, I'm going to punish him anyway. <laughs> 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 Typical. <laughs> Because that's who I am, you know. <laughs> Your dungeon is back open. Yes, we sh we should open the channel up. Oh, we we need to reopen that channel. Yes, we have some channel of the sorts with that name in the uh, team Discord server, but uh, it's been closed for a while, mainly Luckily because we have not had any new members lately, so. Uh, is this going to be a Alexa? Jaguar stream? So, Walter. Can you guys we... actually hear me? Yes, yes. We can yes. Hear you. Or is, is, is my sound hear. very bad again, like last time I was on the stream? No, but I no. hear you perfectly fine. Is everyone okay. listening to, to Shasper but, uh, fine, people? Yes, hear him perfectly. Yeah. Uh, not only the ones here. So on the you, you were just ignoring also... me. That's uh, that's fine. Oh, what happened with Alex? <laughs> he beat. Did he start crash? No, that's a plan. No, he just went for a two liter Q2, I guess. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Glory run, glory run, exactly. And ours is is lowering his OA, blocking the fuck out of us. Well, Mr. We best Mr. to put the race in front of the race. Maybe a George or something or uh, Chewy. Mm, oh, harsh. we have we have Jorge here, uh, Mikhail Golovanov, Shidi. Shidi. We yeah. have our good old friend Shidi, Andredo Caralo. That's how I like to call him. You know, we have Doctor Kai here. Oh, has we, are going to follow, we, we are going to follow Dr. Kai because he's fighting for the championship tonight. But you That's guys tell me, tell me who you want to see. Yeah, we want to see George as well, of course, for the championship fight. <laughs> right, it needs to be cool between those he's two. here now. And the difference in the championship is Oh, six look points. who's here. Six points. Yeah, I lost three positions in... Lop one. At the start, and now you being, on fifth. and now being blocked. No, I started on three, I guess. 
Oh, you need to use man. 100 CT, 100 over, take water. Force to front, you know that. Oh, oh yeah. I did Ooh, that. Right? An overtake. You, you see? An overtake. Oh, I, I... One attempt, and good one lap, pass. You know? And next lap at the end of eight seconds, and then we are back. <laughs> okay, we have Agas here. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh, poor water. I want to, to leave, uh, leave it on Dr. Chu for a minute. In the meanwhile, Walter, we have invited you here because we want to, to listen about your championship run and what you had to say about it. Oh, you should ask Bert. He made my season plan. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 partially true. He didn't have a plan at the start of race one, so I actually stumbled, fumbled something together and messaged him. And don't know if he used it completely, but well, I think a bit of it so, was used. Yeah, this explains how we finally succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that explains a lot, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try it again next season, but... Oh, that that uh, practically clears up the the question about the TD you picked. Oh, no, I just have too much money and I didn't know how to spend it, so... Oh, my God, he's showing <laughs> off. sounds like George. He's showing off. No, I'm actually getting poor again, but time to get back to Master. Is that too easy for you? Yeah, I know, but yeah. It's fun to go. <laughs> it's fun to go up and down a few times. Every time he goes to master, he keeps complaining. He keeps winning, and it's too easy for him. Every time. We we know Walter. <laughs> we know that he moans about almost anything, even if it's good. No, he moans. He that that's what he likes. Yeah, I should have had a good race here, but that's already getting. Oh, I'm getting. Past See, someone. he's moaning again. He's no, I, again. I just saw myself passing someone, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, we we'll see you DMing him soon. Yeah, probably. L lap nine, I guess. No, I, I, I know that uh, Bert contributed to your season plan, but a championship is not built upon a season plan. You know, you need to actually start building your pack uh way way uh, before that so that's the juicy kind of stuff we want to talk, to listen about Guter. okay um yeah i think i went up and down a few times into master and elite but there was always one thing that didn't get aligned with uh, my last attempts trying to get a trophy um, and the biggest part was always the, the sponsorships. Um, I could handle the driver, uh, the car, the package, etc. But the sponsors and the sponsor fights weren't always uh, going into my favor. Um, and that's the main thing that went right the last time. Um, so I had a very good package, good sponsorship and a good start starting amount of cash uh, and that helped a lot during last season so it all started with getting lucky with sponsors basically <laughs> yeah it depends oh, well, what you what you call lucky but sometimes you get into into a fight with people don't quit uh, during during the fight even though if they're 30 or 40 percent behind um and that doesn't allow you to plan your sponsorships, uh, how you would like to get them on the car. Um, so sometimes you have to push your sponsors on the car earlier and uh, that doesn't work for, for some long time purposes. No, just don't tell me you don't. also got, uh, got attacked uh, on your sponsor by Robert Laszlo. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> you, you do. <laughs> of course. Uh, that cost me a championship attempt. He, uh... He went for a sponsor but that he had no chance Robert, of winning. Is Robert even on the lead at this point? No, he's not. Yes, he is. He is. Yes, he is. He's back in the lead. Yeah, but maybe not, not anymore after the next race. 
Oh, oh, that 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 is something. He's fighting I, I for he retention. This this season because of course he's he's doing the thing of promoting and barely retaining, so you're never too sure if he has retained in, on his last attempt or not. Yes, m minus 14 million, so I'm guessing he's going down. Okay. Okay, that would make sense. It won't be easy to get back from that because... Uh, I believe no, you picked... Uh... Not good positions, uh, not no. top 10 money to, to come back from that. So, yeah, he's probably, but the, the thing about Robert is that he goes down and he does well on Masters, so he keeps attacking your sponsors. He brings them with, mm -hmm. with him to yeah, a lower level time, and he keeps attacking them. At that time, he wasn't even doing well in the Nova class. He was just going back from elite to, I guess, amateur. Uh, but, but he he took one of Rolo's sponsors as well. <laughs> oh. He didn't take one of mine, but he went after it, and I had it stored, and I let him get to like ninety percent, and then put it on the car. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the but thing the is that I had to put it on the car uh, while I was still having a shitty season on on, on Conti's or something. So within, uh -huh, okay. and it was half a season before my my. Uh, my build-up season where I would have gotten good results, but because of the half season of bad results, I lost the sponsor after like seven races, and then, yeah, uh, yeah. that basically cost me. I think it was like season was it eighty seven or something. I could have uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, let me you see. wanted to push that season. Yeah, and so there is one season where I did pretty well on Hancock's, but be, I didn't go for the title because I didn't. I couldn't afford to go really for the title, but my, the rest of my package was really strong and uh which season was that it's a season where Rimantas won I no I'm not sure yeah it's season 87, 87 yeah. you were season forward. 87 I got 81 point no sorry 72, 72. points on Hancock's that was gonna be my title uh, season but yeah <laughs> not but enough no. sponsors yeah, yeah. no <laughs> yeah well part you of know the it's I think it's actually nice to shake the status quo once in a while, you know? I did something like that to to Jean Monteiro once, and I <laughs> liked it. <laughs> you should get back up to the higher classes because you are... What for? Yeah, yeah. What for? You're doing shitty and amateur. I know. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> fine. She's great at being shitty. I'm great at being, at being shitty. Every group is shitty, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine where I am, guys. We, we are here to talk about you, not me. Hasman is saying hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Uh, I, I changed my my welcome. I don't know if you can tell. Well, I uh, can't. Evil over lady. So I'm wondering if anyone on the on the chat here in, in you do has any questions for Walter or for Brad because he might be able to talk about the plan that of of the season. Yeah, yeah no secrets are revealed. <laughs> it's all a big mystery how I make plans. You should adapt your uh, your Excel sheet, by the way, because the rear on on the level seven parts is, is not as good as uh, it should be. The the what? The rear. The wear. The wear. Ah, the wear of the of the level seven parts. Yeah. Isn't supposed to be the same as five. You you need to stop That's using phobie. those. Phobie. No, no, you need to stop using those Nubolari formulas. Bert, come on. Yeah, I changed them to Jack uh, formulas, but maybe I missed something. But it's still the same Excel sheet, yes. I think this is a valid question, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> No, he has set me on uh, on the let through, so that's not an option. 
Here's the situation for those who are not oh, but following he, but the he, race. He, That's he, what he, the, passed me, he passed me anyway, so... He passed him, yeah, but you're, you're kind of attacking him at the moment. So he, he's, I, I, I know he can feel the discomfort of you attacking, attacking from behind, you know? Well, uh, he has me on let through, so normally I shouldn't have any troubles getting past him, but... I think we are both stuck behind. Uh, oh the, no, no! He's, he's, he's attempting to overtake uh, Andre. And did George make it into second place? Meanwhile, because yes. earlier it was just fifth. Yeah, he is cruising. Yeah, if, if, yeah he if, is. Uh, if Julie wins is that and George he's... finishes fifth, then they are on equal on points, I think. So, but if yeah. he's up to second, that uh, that changes things. No, I think I I need to punish uh, Kai for this. Yeah, I think so too. George literally said that he's going to do a Rosberg uh, for the last few races of the season. What does he that was, mean? He was in the lead, uh, so he just needs to finish closely behind uh, Chewy all the time to secure the, the title. The so title. that was his target for the yeah. past races. And, I uh, think at this, yeah. at this moment, uh, Kai is crying about that first start crash. Uh, yeah, that was something. Race one. He was race going one. to get a podium. Yep. Yeah, well, these things happen as well. That's another thing that didn't uh, go fully as planned in my previous attempts. The timing of <laughs> a few randoms. Oh, you you are ahead of, of Shiri again, Walter. Yeah, it should be. As it should be. <laughs> Hours. Are you okay, Vasco? It's a Hours. legitimate question. Yeah. We well, can all I answer. Know, I know it's Vasco going to be different because for everybody. He, he was one of the last um, guests we had in the streaming. So I know he's pretty new to the game, but hours. Yeah. But it's a, a, is a, a lot. It's a lot. Say. Uh, if you look at the manager and check his profile, you can see how many hours he has spent on GP, GPRO and how many races he has done. So the average of, of us four is above hours each race, but purely on tactics, that's less currently. Yeah, for me too. Yeah, because I also, for me, it's very high, I think, the value, but it's also because I used to often just have G Pro open and logged in while doing other stuff. So it's not really showing the amount of time that you spend on the game, right? Or it can also be the inverse. Some people do preparation in Excel or whatever other tools they're using while they're not logged in and they actually yeah, spend yeah. time planning, etc. Jasper, you have 14,787 and a half hours on 661 races. That's above 20 hours each race. Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I think no life, uh, no life. I think it already it came down a lot. I think it was more in. I think it was well. Yeah, I think it was close to 24 hours per race in the past on the website. But uh, it's uh, it was a different era. Uh, <laughs> Now yeah. nowadays I usually qualify after uh, after six o'clock be on the on the day of qualifying deadline. Well, Walter so, has five thousand hours on six hundred and forty six races. Oh, that's also a lot. But as for me, I don't spend too much time preparing a race. In my opinion, um, it's just <laughs> checking. Uh, the weather and then preparing some strat and i execute it i don't pay too much attention to what the others on the grid are doing i did that a bit more in my uh, push season uh, last season because you're always uh, trying to wait what the others are doing regarding uh, the expenditures That, that, that's something that not all the newbies are aware of, that the elite managers 
track each other's expenses in order to have an idea or get an idea of what kind of parts they have uh, booked for the for the race i tried that once but it was too too much work <laughs> it i tried is, it with brad it actually is. season 86 I, I also when i was uh, pushing for the championship i did that very intensely both in season 76 and 78 i was really tracking uh, tracking very closely what the others were doing and uh, qualifying as late as possible etc etc so in order to avoid giving my qualifying pace away and <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> uh, good times <laughs> Uh, it's a matter of qualifying at, at a certain time where you know that the script is not going to update the expenses anymore. Good tip. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. But you can just watch the money and car level page, uh, page uh, as well, right? Yeah, that's what I did last season. I just uh, made a screenshot up about every race before and <gasps> of, after every race. Uh, so that's that was the the way I followed uh, the expenditures of uh, my two main competitors. So in conclusion, I would say that even if you are not spending a lot of time thinking about perhaps the number of stops you are going to do that particular race, there are other things that you spend time on. Uh, when you're pushing for a championship, not 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 this reason in particular, perhaps because you are, I'm, I'm sure that you are paying way less attention to the game this season. Yeah, um, this season I'm not exactly doing a lot. Just getting my car on the grid, uh, going on a holiday, uh, let my account holiday, and stuff like that. But. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that uh, most of the time that we spend of, uh, online on the site, it's, as, I, as Jasper said, because you're, I don't know, just logged in and doing something else. Sometimes you want to speak in the team forum. Or, or perhaps you, you... Or play Mafia. Or perhaps you're logged in <laughs> because the... Uh, the Gpro application beta has artificially inflated your number of hours online, like it was my case. <laughs> I have not I have not spent thirty something thousand hours on the site. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. I think I have spent a, a very a very. Um, I, I would say unhealthy amount of hours on the site, especially in my earlier years. But I think that it's, I don't know, half of what uh, it's actually it's uh, logged still at a the lot. moment. It's still a lot. I I can assume that. I, I can see that, but uh, it's not that number. You can probably learn a language with that, those hours. What? With those hours, you could probably learn a language or something like that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> or you can, or you can learn how to pronounce our surnames. Uh, For yes, example, that that would be a good it. idea. I, I I should take some. Uh, I don't know. Uh, are all uh, your surnames of uh, Belgian origin, or they are of uh, the Netherlands? But all Belgian. All Belgian. All Belgian. Okay. I hope Andre sure. is going to be a little, a little bit faster next season because I'm getting tired of this uh, image. <laughs> of his rear. You don't rear. like looking at his rear? No. Fear I, the rear. Well, I have to, <laughs> I've seen the rear of George uh, enough as well, but. Who is. Oh, you have a, a nice train here. Yeah, Rolo yeah. is already seven. Oh, yeah. Rolo is there too. Andre is helping the one stoppers here, I guess. Yeah. He said he couldn't watch the race to the, tonight. It would be interesting listening to, to his comments on this race, to given the, the obscene amounts of blocking he's doing tonight. 
Yeah, he, he said he was <laughs> he was only going to do forty or or forty five. <laughs> Races, so, ah, um, I see the point now. And I even can't get past him with 91 CT, though, so I guess his defensive risks are pretty high. No, you yeah. just suck. I even yeah, blocked that... last race with zero CT and master. Oh, I, I did that. Show enough. Yes, 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 you did that. You holidayed me. But I changed the def defense risk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, sorry, Pablo, you were in the train. Oh, Pablo, yeah, I remember he was a victim. Is Pablo around tonight? I didn't see him on the chat. <laughs> they, they, this is my teammate, people. He loves me. I'm sure he loves me. Don't we all? Thank you, Shiri. There was a time when I was getting the, the accusation of being Mr. Shadow a lot. But that is. And, you, and you, were, you were annoyed by that because it would be Mrs. Shadow. Of course. Uh. Imagine. Go figure. Being misgendered as Mr. Shadow. Jeez. Yeah, all these gender politics nowadays. <laughs> Just call it Shadow. Shadow. Maybe this shadow. identifies as a tree. This yeah. Shadow. Identifies as a shadow. It's, it's its own kind. Oh. So That's... what? what are... What are our out of elite uh, guys' plans these days? Walter has thrown the the, uh, the hat to the circle and said he's pushing next season. But what about you guys? What are your plans? Pushing. Pushing to promote? No, I'm already promoting. Oh, you're so. already promoting. <laughs> so I'm ben, ben against going. Walter. Yes. And maybe if Yasuo can come too, don't know where we stand. No, I'm, I'm not planning ah, much. Nice. Uh, I think I'm going to cruise next season. And I'm still wondering if I should go down to pro or not. I'm not sure yet. I probably will at some point, but right now. Oh. So next season, I'm just going to cruise and... Uh... Master is too easy. <laughs> yeah, oh my you can God. promote it using OPB tactics. Walter. I have 10 races where I finished 30th and I'm promoting first place. What is is that one of those seasons that uh, in, in this group where nobody wants to promote? Um, I don't know actually. It's, it's very strange in uh, Master 3. I'm counting now and I have 8 races with 0 CT. And I'm leading Master Tree. Yeah, I noticed your season, Bert. Was that a decision like uh, after, I don't know, seven or eight races? I think you were kind of on zero points or not many anyway. And then suddenly you started appearing on the podium every time. Was that a decision like, okay, if nobody is taking the promotion, I will take it? Or no, did it, it was just planned uh, way ahead. It was actually an idea to try and promote on PPs. Okay. So I have a, so I have a rather uh... specific car. So I've chosen some uh, races and I would, those races I would go all in and all the races I said, uh, I'm way too slow. So I'm going zero CT. So that's why I have the results like they are now. But, uh, eventually I, I noticed I was going too slow last season in races where I was going full CT. And uh, then I had to, to choose, uh, will I do, will I pick a decent tire? I redid my plan if to see if I was uh, budget uh, okay or not, and I noticed fun noticed that uh, PPs weren't uh, gonna cut it, so I decided uh, the nose and uh, let's see what happens. And first place it is. <laughs> okay, I have opened the uh, the season standings in the race. I, I I switched to Master Three and I see I see the situation now. 
yeah, 70 points, 71 points for a first position is not a lot. Uh, who else is promoting? Jeffrey Stanislavski. Well, it will depend and, on this and race, Tony. I guess. Tony is uh, Jasper's teammate. There yeah, were uh, six from second to sixth were in uh, five or six points difference yeah, before this, this race. It's and they are still in mad. four points difference during the race. That's tight. No, nobody wants to promote. I'm just trying to steal your master record, Flo. I already oh, did for the do qualifying. I still, do I still you lost your one? qualifying record here Oh, to me. And I'm hoping to take the, the track record also from you. That's mean. I, I will need to punish you. Also. Yeah, looking forward. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well played. <laughs> I reopened the dungeon. <laughs> the reopened team atmosphere the is so good at uh, at Shaggy War. It's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could be part of that. Uh, sorry, no oh, invites. You can take my place if you want to. <laughs> oh, he always. We give that a lot. He, he puts his his praise up to up to grabs like twice a season at least. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Only twice. Uh, some seasons, other seasons, it's more. Yeah. Yeah. That that too. I'm being 1.3 seconds faster than Andre now in the second stint. But I couldn't get past him in the whole first stint. I'm going back to the lead race. Somebody in the chat asked if I'm enjoying him too. I'm going to think this is Rombinator. I'm going to assume that this is Stefan Rombo. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just had a pretty regular season. I was uh, happy I could win a race. It, it was a while ago that I'd won one. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know. I, I'm not playing on a long-term plan currently, so it was just a regular, normal season. And the group forum was incredibly quiet. There has been like one post ahead of race one and then nothing. So I hope next season we have some more activity. Talking about Robert Laszlo, look where he is. Yeah, what, what did you expect with Andre being that slow in the first in? <laughs> All the one stoppers are getting three points here this race. Oh, I see. I hasn't stopped yet. Perhaps he's an only one stopper too. No, he did stop in lap twenty. Oh. I don't know why I cannot see the the pit stop uh, data. Oh, that's not that's not a shame. Mine was not good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Kai I might win my race today. And then you're still not going to promote. I didn't mean to. <laughs> so, I mean, so as you know, so last season I was very close to relegating, right? I dropped in the relegation zone uh, at R17 and I didn't prepare to be relegated. So I arrived in master with no driver, no TD uh, and not that great cash. Cash was all right, but so yeah, I had to sign a driver and a TD in the first market of the season. And it's obviously not a not a great place to be not in. Not idea. Mm -hmm. So no, I didn't have any ambition to uh, to try to promote. I think I was uh, very well placed to re to have a decent season in elite this season because I'd been training my driver last season. I think uh, was it so Tony Soirinki who signed him up? I think. How did he do this season? I have no clue, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just checking if it's really him who signed my driver. It's Tony. Uh, yeah, he did. Tony. And he's currently 23rd in the league. Mm. Two points finishes on bad years. Did bad, bad years, didn't, there was not much rain. There was one full wet race and that's it, right? Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, His average result seems okay, though. Average 16.75, that's okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was a shame I relegated. I was uh, I was on PPs and I scored points. Well, I wasn't expecting to score points, but early on in the season, I got a sixth place. I still had a previous driver at that point. Uh, and then I thought, well, three points, it might be good enough to retain. So yeah, I had to see what do I do? Do I want to relegate or not? And if I relegate, then to make sure of it, I will have to finish negative, etc. So I have to decide it early on and I decided, okay, let's just assume that these three points will be enough to retain and plan everything according to that. And so I did, but then in the final race of the season, I dropped out of the, of the retention zone. That, that didn't pan out as expected. Yeah, well, I knew that uh, it was quite likely to fail. Uh, three points is sometimes enough, but I think it's like a 50-50 or maybe a bit worse than 50-50. And would you have been happy if you would have retained? Well, yeah, I planned everything for it. So, yeah. And I would be, I would just even just the achievement of retaining elite on PPs, that would be pretty cool, I think. I'm not sure if if this has been done before. I, I know that. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. It has. Robert, Robert did, right? Yeah. And, and, and more than, also more than one person did that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're not that special, Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> but it's. Oh. <laughs> Jasper will be trying the elitist with only pips. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, only pips. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I I congratulated um, Roland that race uh, on his points, and I told him that he I I was relieved because uh, if that didn't work, I would have try. I would have needed to justify myself about failing to to update the the puzzle bot to uh, his latest elite update. You know, I had to reset it to work in in Pro in Master, uh, that was harsh, and then I had to to do a version to to be able to adapt the version to be able to compete in elite again. So it's a good thing that it worked. I, I was the only one who had faith in him retaining. Oh, I had a lot of faith. Imagine that my reputation lays on that. You know? <laughs> or is it already thinking about his driver. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lasting over his driver. I see. I see. Don't last over. I have to search another one. People that, that have not relegated yet driver. I did that once and it didn't work for me. As I expected, the person retained, and uh, I lost package value very, very easily after that. As uh, as Shaspa would say, I only needed a driver, you know. Exactly. I, on, I was only I was only missing the driver, <laughs> as if it was nothing. I was only missing the driver. <laughs> it's just a small part. It's nothing. It's. Just a little bit detail, a small detail in the in the package. It's one part. Huh? It's I mean, a it's a very important part of it. In some classes, it's everything. No, but it's not. It's it's uh, driver and sponsors are on equal uh, level, I think, in terms of how important it is. Yeah, but the driver is way more into your own control mm -hmm. than, than the sponsorships. That's true. That's true. I've been able to build a lot of very good drivers, but those sponsorships wouldn't wouldn't follow. Yeah, but if you have the sponsorship, you can find a driver on the market. That's true. And pay a I've, lot. And I've I've always liked to build uh, the drivers a bit, but lately with going up and down in Master, it was pretty easy to find a decent driver when going down, and then train them up and uh, being able to do well in Elite as well. What are you up to, Jasper? We're listening to your clicks. <laughs> I'm doing some searching. Who are Different you stalking? Stuff. So 
the you said several people have retained elite on pps but I, as far as i know only robert has done it in season 79 apart from that i i'm not really aware of anyone ever doing i've seen somewhere uh, has a, Pro probably a personal when post that says the first one to pick pp uh, to survive on pps i believe you should look at the first seasons in uh, uh, when the, the brands actually were introduced Mm -hmm. I'm sure that happened at least once in... But also later, I believe, I believe someone in 28th place survived on PPs, but uh, that's because others was going negative above him. Don't know oh, who it yes. was, but uh, I once visited the profile and I noticed in his profile he mentioned first one to survive elite in PP. So I know they are before. Okay. Interesting. I do think that... Um... Uh, Laszlo has uh, survived the elite on most uh, different tire brands. True has that. he survived the elite on PPs and on Avons and on all the other brands, except he never picks Hancock's. Yes, Hancock's is difficult. <laughs> Very difficult <laughs> to survive uh, elite yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> Hancock's are overrated. So we have a, um, a problem with the Hancock's being the the most popular tires are the lead for how long now? Not that long. We have a time, I believe, around the season 80 or something, that only George and one other guy picked uh, Hannies. Yeah, but those uh, strikes don't last long. The, the, these cartels with, with Hancocks are too very frequent these days. And they have improved the bad years and people still keep uh, picking the, the, the Hancocks. They, haven't they nerfed them a little bit lately? Blocking and starting is way too important. But I think they have lost a bar somewhere. Yeah, on durability. But on durability, there. I don't think it, it matters a lot if you are starting into the first five or into place 17 or 18 and getting three dms until you are in front on bad years or or any other tire and it's easy to to just race a certain race with with full city and then train or uh, block a certain race in order to get your energy back so it's pretty a pretty easy tire to just relax the season and get some some good and decent results as well as for your sponsorships as long as you can afford them as long as, <laughs> they're pretty, they're as, long pretty as you expensive. can afford them indeed <laughs> yeah that's true but 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 in my opinion it's also and i think the the other two can maybe agree on that is that the only way to to survive a longer term in elite is is going oh. for the expensive tires uh, race in front uh, and get those good incomes and good sponsorships for the future because your your package will diminish every season more and more if you're just struggling on the other tire brands uh, and at one point you will fail your retention. That is true, but there's also people that enjoy uh perhaps doing a, a more risky approach with uh, OVP tires and uh, gain that sweet, sweet agro. Yeah, I think that's fine, but that's just for the first or the second season that you're entering Elite with maybe a master driver that you are training. Um, I guess the, the average results on, on an expensive tire are then um, not at the cost of, of doing a OBP sometimes and getting an, an easier retention in one or two races uh, and then build up your package uh, to be able to afford the, the more expensive tires. You need to spend people. That's the, the conclusion here. You need to spend to be able to win. It's the same with testing. You need to spend uh, to win. Yeah, I, Back uh, a few seasons ago, you had to momentum. keep track on who did what testing. But then uh, a tab came available where you could see how many testing laps everyone has done 
during the entire season. I know everybody sees it that at the top of the game, most of the players are fully testing. And it was something actually a bit hidden before. Then you actually had to need to keep track who was testing how many laps each race again and again. And then you could see that some people did eight test sessions after each other and done no test sessions or vice versa in the season. And you know they were building up or something like that. But now you can see almost everybody on top is close to full testing. But that's on the top of the game. In lower divisions, that's not possible, of course. We have a, a oh, polemic, a polemic uh, question here. Uh, unpopular opinion. Missions need to be made a little cheaper. What do you think, guys? Hi, Robert, by the way. <laughs> I assume this is Mr. Enright. Do missions serve any purpose at this point? What do you think? The question mm. is for who? No, I it's, think everybody. I think we, it's something I think we to discuss. We have, a, we have a panel of four people here. Discuss. Okay, go ahead, Flo. You may open. I'm here to make you talk. Yeah, I think I think at this point uh, the uh, the loss of the one bar on the the dry pace um, made a very big influence um, in taking them for championship purposes, and I think overall for. A decent season in elite uh, trying to build up your package i think hancocks are still a, a better choice uh, given the price difference between the two tires so either way you have to make michi a bit cheaper um, or doing a little bit of tweaking again in the in the tire brands but i would uh, want that not to happen next season again because <laughs> then then i have to change my plans again as uh, as i had to do last season when i uh, oh you, push. you were planning on missions and you had to take bridges exactly i recall that yes currently oh, if be you go punished. you wanted a cheaper season on on a good trial be punished Yes, I think that it, that was actually the purpose. No, that uh, I think that the purpose was to make the, the championship uh, season more expensive, and not to get the ones uh, pushing for the championship to come out, come out of that in a position to be able to keep pushing for championships in a row at least. Yeah, but but even on Bridge Rocks last season. I still ended my season with with a, a decent amount of cash, and I could have decided to to push this season as well. But for my so sponsors, we... it was just better to wait another season. Uh, so I decided to wait one. But it was possible to do back to back pushes as well for me. But uh, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> seeing this fight at this point. Interesting one, but I and so we are you're telling Vlad at this moment that he needs to make uh, bridges more expensive. Yeah, I think not next season, but, <laughs> after, but after that, he, he can add a few millions on uh, on every tire. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be you... more interesting to have more tires for the championship. Currently, if you go a championship, you take bridges if you want to do a build up season, but still consistent result, you pick honeys. You're going OPB season, you pick Conti's or bad years. So indeed, Mitchies don't have a point. But what if Mitchies have actually an, an advantage? The only advantage they have currently have over Red Rocks is the starting position, but they lose at everything else. But what if you switch the the rain performance from both tires, Mitchies and, Bri and Bridges? You, Would that you, change you something? Cross them. Then you have better in, in rain, you are better with Mitchies. And in dry, you are better with bread, bridge rock. So, you know, most uh, efficient is bridge rock, most dry races. Bex, please keep your IDs for next season, please. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you uh, complaining? It's, it's, it's that's the man who does your season plans, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, not yeah. for next season. He did it himself. It was only one season I did it. What I didn't make a plan for next season already, so what? 
Well, Bert, you oh, know. Oh, not again. That, that's your cue. <laughs> that's your cue. You know what you need to do now. Uh, take me 15 minutes or so. Yeah. How, exactly. how far do you guys think you could get if you would try a champ push on Hancock's? Depends on the season. If it's yeah. a very hot season and wet season, not far. That's obvious. How, how and long and, has, and, and has it depends it on your competitors as well, because this season there was nothing to do uh, on Hancock's against those two spending a very big amount of cash. But if yeah. there is just one one competitor who's not obviously that strong, I think there is a chance on winning a championship at, at Hancock's at some point if you have a decent car and the weather suits you for the most time. But but well, lately the, the champ pushes have been very, uh, very strong. People uh, are getting uh, better and better in, in building up the drivers. Uh, Damn getting, noobs. getting a decent car so damn noobs the closest someone got was season 84 it was rollo coming second with uh, hennies against david rolleston because no one else was pushing that season yeah exactly. in the first half yeah, of the season it was a pretty close season did pick the bridges it was at the beginning of the season was a pretty close season because it was colder but in the end it got uh, hotter and uh, there was no stopping uh, david i see so it depends on the weather and it's too yeah. See, season 87 where i where i got my good hancock season that was a hot season actually it was not a favorable season for hancocks at all so that's so... why you can't uh, you can try it but you have to depend on luck even more than some other things that uh, depend on luck in this game yeah you there depend on the competition factors. you depend on the weather but the interesting yeah, thing is that yes. they are four million cheaper per race, right? So four million times seventeen. Is, is is sixty-eight. That? Yeah. yeah 68. So, so that's only that's only seven. one car replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can only go so far with car replacements because uh, eventually you get to level eight and sometimes even level nine if you go really extreme. But it only takes you so far. So. There's a limit where you can extra spend on top of your uh, currently on the plans because most bridges are running around already with level seven or sometimes level eight parts if needed uh, on some tracks. So you don't have much left over to go even higher. Maybe I should try it next season. If let's oh say it's, it's getting She's cold. Off again. Yeah. So if 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 uh, bridge rocks get even more expensive, people might not be able to afford bridge rocks and uh, maximum spending on their cars at the same time. And then it would be interesting to exactly to have a cheaper uh, tire also in the title fight. I mean, I mean, having a cheaper tire uh, tire would become an option for a title fight. That's what I want to say. Yes, that's well, true. Wasn't that what happens? What, what happened with uh, Mishis at the point because they were actually pretty decent and they allowed. Uh, a higher expenditure on parts. Yeah, it's, it's how, how Brad won against me in season uh, 86. He used every penny he saved on the tires in his car parts and he did win that season uh, that way. That's, uh, that's so, a point. So but it was an option that season, but I don't see... It was an option and it was extra. taken away. And now and is an option the... indeed gone. But I, I was still wondering because last season we didn't know the exact influence of the, the one bar difference in the speed. Um, and I don't think for me personally, because I had a decent uh, amount of starting cash, it was a problem to, to go with bridge rocks. But in, in Rimanta's case, maybe um, I would have fire. thought he, he, he might have chosen for, uh, for Mishis instead because maybe you couldn't afford it, but... There would, there would have been an option there, but uh, it would be interesting to see more tire fighting titles. But I think that this uh, idea of um, not allowing back-to-back -back championship pushes is at this moment in higher regard. This is a speculation, of course, but... Well, if you 
push title with honeys it's a cheaper tie but you have more expenses in car parts so you don't actually gain any money so it still no, remains the don't. same if you can do a double push or not true that it happened uh, in in the real days where i think it was toy gun that had picked uh, bad years which were a pretty decent tire at the moment uh, because, the, of course, there were not options like Hancock's. And he started doing very well. So at the moment, he decided he was going to go all in and push for the trophy, and he won it. But the strange thing that was seen back then was that that was probably uh, one of the very few I think it was level 12 cars, if not the only that we have seen on in the game. Uh, that, was that was because rarity. you had much better technical directors back then, right? Of course, we had super uh, TDs back then, which that have disappeared, I don't know, at least 30 seasons ago, 20 something seasons ago. Uh, of course, you, you were able to build up much more uh, CCPs from testing. Uh, so a, a level 12 car was possible, uh, but he was overspending on parts heavily. Mm -hmm. And he got his uh, his trophy with uh, subpar uh, tires and over expenditures. So the outcome is the same. Expenses are expenses, just on another part. Yeah. Rimantas won a championship on bad years, didn't he? Somewhere around season 42 or something. I don't remember. I was around. I don't remember. <laughs> go go check. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Pro Champ season. Uh, longer ago, season 31 on bad years. It was his first title, actually. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, but I was around, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't really following. First to are all bad years. All bad, yeah. The fifth was the first yeah. bridges. So it was bad years against bad years. So yeah, that's a different approach. Hmm. It's not the and same that if you don't only have... That for a few seasons. I remember when you, your choices suddenly were, were, I don't know, Badiers on retention, and perhaps uh, you yeah. had the the the, the Mishis on the um, Bridges Tom's. Yeah, you had to the, the to... three and a half million for bad years for five dry bars and seven wet. You had to pay seven million for Bridge Rocks for eight dry bars and six wet performance. So, yeah, it's about the same now difference, but. Don't see it happening now. No. Like you said, people have become very good at building up towards one push season. So it's, uh, yeah, you really need to get everything together, including the tires. Or be lucky that nobody is building up to a specific season that you are targeting, which does happen sometimes. Yes, true. But it's very hard to, to plan for. You can't, yeah. There are seasons that perhaps you you can sense that the competition is not that strong, but how can you target that such season? You can't. Mm -hmm. Or you can try to scare them so that other people might fold and pick another season. <laughs> That's what Bear is trying to do next season. <laughs> He's trying to scare me. Who? Actually, I actually did it in season 87. I was, uh, most people saw I was rather strong. I was going to push again in season 88. And nobody actually tried it against me that season. So I got it rather easily that season. Cheap. <laughs> Cheap season. Yeah, it was still Bridge Rocks. I know George was uh, very surprised about it. Why didn't I pick Michi's? I what did you reply? I am a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it somewhere on Discord, I believe. Um, he couldn't believe I picked uh, Bridges uh, in a season where nobody else was pushing, but I wasn't uh, believing that nobody else would going uh, up against me. So I 
Yeah, they are. You are, you are bad at mental tactics. games. You you should have read those forums back in I don't know season forty or so, where uh, I don't know you had people like Joao Monteiro uh, trying to intimidate Toygan. That was pure forum gold. I miss that a lot. Haven't seen it. Oh, you miss you missed very 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 hard on that. That was amazing. Though of course there was some level of divism in in some guys too. Some level of what? Divism, like we had some divas, you know. Ah, okay. like in the yeah, well, well, one one of them had actually had a female name uh, back then, right? Oh, or, or or I don't know what the story was exactly. I know that uh, Michael Keeney liked to uh, <laughs> remind Montero of that a lot. Yeah, well, that that was never uh, clear. There was an account called Joana Montero, and it was alleged. Uh, uh, his daughter, but the, um, the the uncomfort that it was causing was, of course, it was a very new account, and as it was um, perhaps mentored by his dad, it was winning a little races in no time. You know that kind of situation. And of course, the the double account accusations were flying through the forums of the of that season. I don't remember. I wasn't even playing yet. That that was uh, like in the G pro pre prehistory, you know. Because if I wasn't playing, it was like the dinosaurs' time or something. <laughs> I don't it's know. the time when Robert had hair. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, weren't you a teen when you started playing, Robert? Or I, perhaps I'm wrong. I, I, I kind of remember you being a teenager back in the day. No, I think you've got the wrong. I think this is, this is Malati, Robert. No, or who, who is this, Robert? I think it's and right. Oh, maybe I'm all wrong. I don't know. I just yes, noticed this, the champ season is over. No, Chewie I think. Yeah, I, 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 have the, I have the right rower here. He was 16. I remember that. Oh, Chewie is out. Chewie is out. Oh, my Chewie God. Three out. laps ago. Chewie is out. But it's energy. 15, 15 laps to go, and he's already yeah. out. My God. I expected it. Malatis need better, better energy in. tool, I think. Malatis, Nuvolaris. Nuvolaris, sorry, sorry. Nuvolaris. Nuvolaris, Nuvolaris, Nuvolaris need better, better energy tool. Yeah, I've written the old one. Oh, that, oh, that, that, that explains <laughs> it. They updated it already, I know. That explains I, I spoke afterwards to them and they updated it, so it's not mine anymore. Don't blame me. If you I was just going that, to to ask Jasper if George might be under fuel, but in this case, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter, no. Mm. Well, he, he built such a difference so early, so it was kind of to be expected that he was abusing risks. Yeah, but we were getting stuck a bit behind uh, a certain Andre do Caralo, as I like to call him. Yeah, I, do, I don't know how to pronounce his surname, but... Oh, it's Do Carvalho. I can pronounce that, not yours. That one I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So Chu is, is losing pace. And... Yeah, and he will lose some more, I guess. What's the, the difference between him and 24 seconds? Almost yeah, it's 25. Rapid, rapidly slowing down. Yeah, what's the. Okay. Sure, she said 158. Uh, 
and Kai is on one six one seven one. It was okay, one already five, already eight. over a second. Oh, it's very early. It's thirteen laps to go. Oh my God! No, this is not going to end well for for Kai. Unless unless George runs out as well, maybe. Not going to mm, happen. I unlikely. Guess. Maybe two or three laps in the end, but. Unlikely because uh, I'm sure uh, Shaspa built a better energy tool. <laughs> so actually, energy is one of the few things that I have never done any full wheeling on. Oh, that was all. So uh, who built work. who built the tool then? Um, it was started by Tan. Tan, Tan Lake. Tan Lake, yeah. Uh, and Brad uh, built on it. Okay, I see. And then actually, actually, wait, no, Diogo also because he, uh, yeah, we, we have two different tools actually. We have one that was co developed by Tan and Brad, and then we have a second tool which was built by uh, Diogo. And, do you yeah, flip a coin both. to pick a tool there? How do you do yeah, that? Yeah, we, we look at all, all the, the both of the tools are not. Uh, not always giving you the same results and well both of them are not like perfect so we look at both usually yeah, Jack, we still <laughs> do you have it's a bit of, it's a it's a black magic you know <laughs> well you you look at one then you look at, at the other and you average how, how do you do how you do pick you the one that average. you like the most basically oh the, the one that tells you what you want to, to read <laughs> okay yeah. that that makes sense <laughs> We are still waiting at Jack's at our tool. Hey, Flo. Oh, well, I'm finishing the bootcamp. I'm finishing the bootcamp. So we can finally have a tool. Who is the tool? Are, are we talking about anyone in particular? Or are we talking no, but you about are building a page for... Uh, I'm, I'm building a server. I'm building a server, but I... I'm not actually building a server. I was building a server. <laughs> but for you to for you to know, now I know machine learning and I can apply that to tool building. So that's that's again, that's something that I got, a, a skill I got and a tool I got in my toolbox that will be uh, very well applied now in the important things in life such as Shipro, for example priorities you know now I, i'm finishing the boot camp and i'm spending the final project at this moment it started yesterday so i still have three more weeks with this and then i'm free to to play with with what i have learned what kind of nerd starts playing gibro and ends up uh, in a data science bootcamp. <laughs> Very strange picks. Think, stranger things have happened at CBRO. Uh, actually, Alex Malkin or, or had a similar a similar uh, story to tell. He started programming to build uh, team tools, and he ended up working as a programmer. So yes, things like that happen, people. What are you burning? What am I? Burning, smoking. Oh, burning! You. You're that... on fire and not in a not in a nice way. Where is he? That was a little bit unexpected. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't. Yeah, I are. don't. I don't think I have any parts going near to 100, but. Well, it's better to have the. Is it, if it is the random, better to have it now than next season. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a good uh, random. No, this is it, just one more reason for him to moan. Yo, yo, him got, a, he got a random too. So uh, maybe uh, the Belgians are being. Uh, First. Why yeah. I got a random? Yeah, he entered the pits in lap 24 with a gearbox issue or something like that. But he's currently also cruising P10, so it doesn't matter a lot. But he's only, Domin yes. only Dominic should get a random now. 
<laughs> then, then, and then all the Belgians. <laughs> oh, he's that's he's the only one missing. Yes. I'm on first round. I was hoping to pass Remontas in the end of season standings this race, but it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. You are if you pass him next fun. season, it's okay. Yeah, that's true, but a little bit of extra money would have been welcome. True that. Poor bastard. Yeah. I'm in a tight battle for the win here, so I'm in the lead, but I'm blocking someone who's a few tenths faster than me. And here it's also, if I win the race, then I pass uh, Peter Both in the standings, and if I don't, then I don't pass him. So I want the money. <laughs> okay. Give me the money. Show oh. me the money. <laughs> and I might yeah. run out of energy, and I might smoke a fuel up, so <laughs> okay. it's going to be... <laughs> I shouldn't run out of energy or smoke, but you still can. Yeah, yeah, he is. There it is. I should smoke a lap or two, but yeah, if it's just two laps, then there's very high chance that you get away with it without smoking. And the energy uh, should be fine normally, but like I said, our tool isn't perfect, so. I doubt any tool is perfect on energy in this game. Mm -hmm. Unless you have the source code. Yes. <laughs> Who would have that? Do one? not forget about that, please. <laughs> Shh, oh, I have a DM. <laughs> don't, don't tell the others we have it. For... Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, it slipped. It slipped. I, I didn't realize okay. what I was doing. No worries. Jasper didn't hear it. He ignores us. No, I, I just had a DM, so I'm like uh, annoyed. Now. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, I cursed myself by saying, all right, uh, I'm fighting for the win, blah, blah, blah. And then half a minute later, yeah. I'm yes. in the gravel trap. Flat, flat hears everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's probably watching this. <laughs> he should, but he shouldn't listen to Bert's advice. Against uh, on tires, uh, yeah, I can repeat it if you want. <laughs> no, it's let, fine. <laughs> let him do your season plan, though. Yeah, Bert should. I, I have to know the tires before that. Huh? Oh, just pick one. Okay, PPs it is. PPs it is. That would be a fun challenge. I should get retention next season on pips, but. Maybe well, I can try that one next season. And still block you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Imagine going against your own teammate. Didn't uh, the Edifies do that? One. Yeah. Bobolis against. Uh, against Yanis. Yeah. Yanis. Uh, Yanis, did they did Yeah, first a... and second they had. It was on one of my, one of my earlier seasons in GPRO. I saw yeah, those two against been, each uh, other. Must have been around season six. Yeah, six six years five, something. something. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't and recall click, that. Click, yes, I do remember that the time click, that. Click, click, uh, okay, challenge accepted. That Christos made that wrong bid on a driver. For Janice because he was holidaying his account and he ended up with the driver that was meant for Janice. That was something that happened at a point. Season but I 67. didn't I don't remember when was this thing that they were ah, both yes. pushing. Season 67, they finished first and second, both on Mishis. Uh -huh. Yes, in the last race, uh made the gap even bigger because it was uh, nine points before the last lap, I believe. Before uh, the last, last race. race. Yeah. Oh. So anything was, uh, anything. It was still possible the last race. Interesting. Would have loved to see that in the intern chat all day.
It would have been Giannis's a... first title, actually. No, wait, uh, I'm on the wrong it's page. Sport. I'm, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong tab. <laughs> on a sport. Yeah, yeah, I was on the wrong tab here. I had a manager history open, but it was still Remontas. <laughs> Too many tabs. Uh... <laughs> George taking the lead. Hey. Taking the lead. There he is. Uh, it's, it's Maybe if, because... if Vladdy listens, he can give George something too. <laughs> Race ending puncture. And Ooh, that would be in the last four laps. Interesting. That would be interesting. If he gets it now, then I'm really. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> then you are fucked. <laughs> I'm still puzzled about this uh, Janis and Krista situation because it's not like they were in the same team, and, but they were rivals, I don't know, in a Senna and Prost fashion. They were really close friends. They are. They, I, I think they still are. Even well, though Christos did not play in anymore. I remember they had that. Three um... championships or four championships, so we can have some fun competing each other. If it's your first, you don't do that, I think. But if you're three cups against four cups, you may do something like that. So yeah. well, next, I, I, I next, get next the point. Next season, Bert, Bert will try it too. So. Yeah, one against one. So first one to second. <laughs> I think, was, I, I was think there will be a, party. a few others as well, uh, to be honest. I think there was I a press interview with Yanis and he kind of explained what the situation was. I'm looking for that one now. Elite Press from the times when Rimantas was the host. Oh, you were, I think. I were. I, was, I wasn't. Mm. No, that's, that's before my time, no. I took over. No, Brad, Brad, was, uh, oh, Brad, Brad was just was fresh host. Nice. I remember when Brad said, hey, bring back Elite Press. Okay, you do it. I said, okay, he said, and he did it. <laughs> that was funny. So what, what Yanni said about uh, fighting his teammate, he said, a fight is a fight. Few of us will ever play in a classical football match, but we need to enjoy the friendly fight, even in, in a five by five pitch. Not losing the enjoyable aspect of any game, no matter how important a fight is, is also important. So no need to live and enjoy the battles for promotion to pro or master as if they were elite title battles. Competing against Christos was harder than competing against other managers in the game. It's not the same as being in the same group. There are four of us in elite as in a title fight. Even the winner can lose many things financially. Yes, that's exactly the point why I find it so odd. Because you are always, if you're going that hard against someone, that, especially if he's your teammate, you are losing resources overall. Yeah, you're both running each other to the ground, basically. Exactly. In the title fight. Yeah. <laughs> but the good thing between if Bert and I are doing it, I don't post my strat, so Bert wouldn't know. <laughs> Well, he doesn't have a plan if I don't make it for him. So <laughs> oh, that's, true. that's true as well. But you can make, make a bad plan, plan for him at level him. ten parts. Perfect. Oh, okay. You can but you can make a plan forwards. for him with level ten parts. Part Are you going to invent them, Bert? We're gonna do what? Will you invent the level ten part? Yeah, yeah. All parts level ten. And and my Last season five plan. races. Yeah, for sure. He, he's going to manufacture those parts for you, Walter. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Just testing the wear on level 10 or level 11 parts, why not? Okay, yeah. We, we need data. Have, we don't have any experience about that. That's true. Oh, are, are we are we so uh, unaware of this that we are speaking in public, but we didn't need to say about the level 10 and 11 parts we have access to. George has just won the championship a few seconds ago. Oh, so. oh congratulations. congratulations, congratulations George. George, on number four. He's four. Quite an achievement, nice. I think. Yeah, it was a nice season. Was yeah, good. Sorry for Chewie. It was a very nice battle. Yeah, he's going to get punished. 
<laughs> I'm actually so glad it, it, it ended like this and not uh, with a gap smaller than six points because everybody would have looked at race one and now we can say it is as it is. I wouldn't have Deserved. looked at race one to be honest. I already forgot what happened at that time. Look at that face of George. Oh, nice. <laughs> so <laughs> He's so good looking. Yeah. He, he doesn't want to show his face. Can't you, neck, don't neck. you have a picture he somewhere? He doesn't want of him to do audio. George? What? Don't you have oh, a picture of George somewhere because you did it with you one time? No. You don't have nothing of him? I have nothing of him. I, I have a, a picture from uh, you. And then why do I need to do the audio thing and he doesn't? Because you're a nice teammate. Oh. <laughs> he is? Yeah. Is he? <laughs> I, was, I was wondering that too, back. <laughs> uh, he did the lead press feature. Remember that? It was the first and the last in a, in a long while. Uh, because uh, Brad stopped doing it and nobody took over. So. I wanted to do a, a feature with him, and of course he didn't want to. He's our mysterious guy. Yeah, it's not even sure if he's human. <laughs> I think he's a he's a script you wrote, Jasper. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be a cool. true true Jeep robot. A, a, a true one, yeah. Uh, Alex Malkin actually usually says that his ultimate goal is to build a, an artificial intelligence that plays Shipro. <laughs> but that would be nice. But mine, mine even writes in Discord about uh, tire suppliers all the time. So that's uh, top of the bill, you know? Yeah, it's better than ChatGPT. <laughs> it's even better because it has an obsession of his own. I have Very some nice sad race. news for you, Flo. What? You've lost your uh, track record in Master. Oh, I'm devastated. Thanks for it. <laughs> it's mine now. You'll be punished. Remember that. Track record in Master. I, I, even, I even didn't know that I still had records. I, I used to have a... Yeah, you were no, there three, three or four at the point, especially in the times when uh, Hancocks were pretty new, uh, because that, of course, made it easier to get the, the records from people using inferior tires in the earlier seasons. But I didn't know I still had one. But I insist that you will be punished. So what was your last time, Beth? Uh, one five, uh, 329. I got fastest lap in my group and it's a one six six. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, I've checked all the other masters to see if anyone went below me, but I went for extra soft and three stops this race just to try and get it from flow. <laughs> you, you, you were almost as fast as George is fastest lap. It's a one five zero. <laughs> Well, should I feel flattered about this? I'm not sure. No, you, you should be ashamed. Ashamed? Why? Oh, angry. 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 Yeah. I think I, 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 I need to feel flattered here. He wanted no, to should. be like just like me. You should come back to the higher back to master and elite. Yeah. <laughs> master is easy. Yeah, he keeps saying it. So easy. <laughs> So easy, especially when Bert does your season plan, right? Oh, yeah, I don't do anything in Master season. He didn't do that in Master, then I'm just racing without a season plan. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, the saddest part about this is that people here think he's joking and he's not. I have holiday, he somehow this season plan, <laughs> indeed, he does not have a plan. <laughs> Don't, don't tell them, Flo. But because it's true. Yeah. I have to say it because it's true. 
you don't have a plan. Do whatever you want. So, okay, you overspent. You said I, I had to do whatever I wanted. <laughs> I'm sorry. That happened. I won that race, by the way. So, yeah. It, it, worked, it worked fine. The holiday worked fine. You did spend all of my money. <laughs> yes, I did. But it worked. <laughs> did, didn't you get a very nice uh, sponsor offers after that? Do you think it was because you did something right? No, it was all my management for that one race. Oh, I thought it was Rolo doing my races. But that no, is probably no, the, the, you. One the one race I holiday for you, that was the... The one that got you all the nice uh, money. Oh, that was the race that, uh, that I got my six million sponsor offer. Yeah. Oh, that okay. one. Shh, don't mention it. Shh, shh. The, the, the 11 level parts and the okay. six million sponsor. Please, please. Mm. You no, make I'm us just, all I'm good. Just, I'm just scaring the other people that I'm doing a, a champ push on my own next season. Yes, you can take it on bad years. <laughs> <laughs> No, I should have tried Hancock's because Jasper said it. Mm. I'm I'm glad that you got the hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vlad will change it. No problem. He will listen to me. Probably. So I ended up losing my race, but I got fastest lap to compensate a bit for the for the last race so oh yes because that million is so important i only have nine million at the moment so. oh so the, so indeed and the same as me <laughs> oh wasn't it nine million well he's he mentioned that he didn't relegate with uh flow has, has way, more, so. more money than the three of us <laughs> times three i guess <laughs> <laughs> as if it's hard <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it's it, it, is, it isn't money. an amateur. It isn't. She also spent thirty six thousand hours. Yes. Yeah, she should. It. She should know how to make money by now. <laughs> no, I, I. It should be a shame because there are people that pile up something like three hundred million in amateur. I don't do that because I always spend that I don't care much. How much do you have? 160 something <laughs> only that uh, peanuts peanuts yeah pennies 160 something perhaps i'm going to end with 100 just for us nine million i have also nine million and water <laughs> i guess i had 30 you know uh, now now you know where all gpro money is yeah, Both not in our pockets. Not in not our in... pockets. <laughs> Bert doesn't have it and Shasper doesn't have it. What oh, also doesn't have it? <laughs> she probably clearly needs a fairer tax system to redistribute. Yeah, it's the Belgian taxes that cost so much. Yeah, taxes oh, in Argentina. Yeah, clearly it's living differently. in Europe. The problem is it's, living in Europe. Especially in Belgium. You can see it. Nine million, nine million, thirty one million. It's obvious. Yeah, the, Harsh says that they ha only have that money because the rest has been brought to real cash. Well, I actually have been investing in crypto. <laughs> this is the the conversion, like the, the program where you can convert your GPRO cash to supporter credits, right? That would be interesting. Do you remember <laughs> the time? Was was it this guy, the the Romanian guy, that was complaining that the game was not paid to win, that he wanted to pay to have more money because he wasn't able to win because he never had money. <laughs> I think that he missed the point about the, the game being a management want, but. Uh, the um, uh, George uh, Daniel or something. Don't you remember that character? People are getting used to pay to win these days. There are lots of games that are that way these days. 
Yeah. Or watch an ad every minute to win. <laughs> That's True. probably even worse. Uh, George Vasile was the name of the guy now that I remember. Rings a bell. Uh, but he has the name the other way, the other way around because he's Romanian, so he's Vasile George. Don't know. Oh, he's he's very cocky. He he enjoys that kind of uh, uh, pre-boxing match talk in the group. Oh, he looks uh, a bit like me then. <laughs> <laughs> All your knowledge. <laughs> and he he was trying to. Uh, he was trying to intimidate the competition. The, then he failed to retain. I remember that. <laughs> he still has in his profile uh, uh, a note that says, look at my account, I will be the, the next champion in season 62. That's an example. I don't remember exactly what season was it that he said he would be champion and he was relegated that season to pro, I believe. <laughs> But yeah, we, we have some some interesting characters in the forums. But yes, his idea was that he would be able to to actually pay uh, supporter credits to get Shipro uh, Cash, and it it got kind of heated. And of course, there were people in the forum discussion trying to heat it up and to make him talk to have fun. And even uh, Vlad at the point uh, chipped in and he said, well, okay, yes, one uh, million uh, real dollars, one million Shipro money, he said. <laughs> I'm going to, I'll do it, but you need, it, it, it is a one-one conversion. <laughs> okay. So next season, Lawrence Stroll is GPRO champ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that could happen. But no, it was a one-time offer for uh, for George Basil. Okay. That, that that was a funny discussion. If that happened, I wonder if Vlad would uh, use the money to invest it into uh, personnel, etc., to develop Gpro, or would he just shut down the server, take his money, and sit on the beach for the rest of the <laughs> Take, take the suitcase and run away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possibility. He, no, would prob it... he would probably set the, the dude up with a race ending random in race one and then take a suitcase and run away. And run away. That's interesting. I'm sure he would he would leave uh it's just by me in charge and he would run. <laughs> <laughs> with the money. I imagine the level of updates if, if Jasper and I are, are in charge. What's I want to ask now that I have you here, Jasper, what's the future for the World Cup? I could ask you as well, you know. Um, so <laughs> the idea was that uh, the admin administratorship is going to be transferred to you. Uh-huh. And that hasn't happened lead. yet because yeah, because <laughs> because you and Vlad, I mean Vlad didn't give you access apparently. Uh, mm, no, that so hasn't happened. Not, but... I, I can't give you the access, so Vlad has to do it. So I was <laughs> I was promised an update that didn't happen. Sorry? I was promised an update that, that didn't happen. An update from from Vlad. Vlad needs to give you the keys before I can explain you anything. No, 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 no. The update. I mean, I mean the update, not the keys. I, I don't get what you what you mean. What well, update? You, you promised an update to me, and I'm waiting for it. Never mind. You you will so get punished, punished too, in yeah. the dungeon. <laughs> yes. Come join me. <laughs> Having fun. Click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to see uh, if you have a spot open in the team so I can apply and then I have access to the dungeon. 
to the dungeon, yeah. But aren't you, Malat, is recruiting, actually? Yeah, we are, because I'm leaving, so. To to join my dungeon. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, once you get there, you don't. That get makes out. a lot of sense now. I get it. <laughs> Did you read my post? Uh, Where? Ah, your application to my Yeah. yeah oh, the application. The application. The final. You're in the final round. Uh, oh, thanks. I need I need you to get recruited into Malati so that I can take your spot in Jaguar. Exactly, George uh, said. That's it. a very good strategy. But I'm confused because you you have that very nice T-shirt with a tiger on it, and I thought that tiger were recruiting. <laughs> tiger racing. Yeah, ah, yeah, it's actually an ad for the wrong team. Yeah, you're not Should, doing uh, your marketing right, Jasper. <laughs> wrong kitty on the T-shirt. And it's not even a sick one. So I can't even call it a Malati. Tigri Malati. Tigri Malati. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, I'm going to end the streaming here. It was a pleasure to have you all tonight. Uh, Walter, we need to repeat this. So start no. talking to your girlfriend. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I can do this twice. <laughs> if you win another one, why not? Oh, but I'm going to try Hancock's next season, so that's not <laughs> If you win another one, you need to do this. No, and then I'm going to do the Elite Press as well. Uh, so I, I have one more thing to ask. Why. Is it also because of the high Belgian taxes that you can't afford to put the light on in your house? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Probably. The problem is he's ugly and he doesn't want his face to, to be clearly seen. I can, but then I have to move. <laughs> anyway, peeps, uh, it's, it's getting late and I have to go to another streaming. Really? <laughs> really, I do. Okay. Well, I'm a busy night, woman. Late this night age. streaming with Flo. This is going to. Oh yes, I'm. I'm going to launch an, another, another series. Dungeon. Flo, Flo dungeon. It's dungeon streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a different sound. Live a different from Flo's no dungeon. Click, click, click. It will be whippity bip. <laughs> uh, see you all next season. I don't know when the. Uh, See some uh, reset is going to take uh, place. I don't know if it's going to be Saturday or Sunday. So see you all next season. Tires Games is going to get updated after the the reset is is done. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's going to live beyond next season, and we are going to discuss that in the forum after the update. Right. So you guys, anyone okay. wants to say anything else? <laughs> Before we, we leave? No, another no, just, uh, no. Thank you for hosting. Thank you for, for joining Jasper as a co-host. You're always uh, interesting to listen to. Yes, and I'm glad. your clicks I'm are very valued. The, boat, the both of you were able to make it as well. Otherwise, I would have been alone with Flo and that. It, yes, that was too intimidating for him. Yeah, yeah, Flo, I would, Flo have, I, I would have ended up in the dungeon. So. It can still happen, midnight streaming. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, That's why guys. your girlfriend isn't happy with it. Yeah, oh, no, mm. we are not going to take this discussion there. No, 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 we are not going there. No. Anyway, now we are leaving. See you all next okay. season, people. Bye, 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 bye. 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 bye.